He wanted to do what he'd read and seen on TV and plot out what lies ahead and avoid being a detainee of a world which he could not agree or see exactly on the level. His mind was cluttered with debris. His mother said it came from the devil. The man wanted to be a cowboy. This had been since he was three, due to the tendency to underemploy in the messed up state of Tennessee. He'd been given a revolver when he was much too little, and he saw it as a problem solver. This was brought up at his acquittal. He was trained to betray those around him and near, and in his mind when he lay, he thought of removing him in a fear. In his head he was weighing, trampling around the world before, even though they just wanted to entertain, and he did it on his own accord. Most grow out of nightmares, but he saw a clear divide in all life's many affairs, which one might have to collide. His life was like a conscript, wake up early to practice and shoot, and many imaginary reinforcements that he wanted to give the boot. Many dress-ups as a hero, when can he go out there and loot? He's itching for a chance to beat Tishiro. When he sighted his saddle up and identified his enemy, the sun fell into its cup, and the goal was to eradicate absolutely. And that's when everything clicked, all of his pieces around his belt. What happened next was easy to predict, just like the pain that he dealt. In his mind, the enemy is the law, a nebulous force coming upon, the sheriff bringing shock and all. He imagined a man named John. Of course, no such man existed. At the scene were deputies of the sheriff, who waited until they were assisted, and then took samples of his dandruff. As one saw him driving his car, they refused to do a whole lot, even though he drove with his door ajar. To think he'd do it, they thought not. As the boy unloaded his guns, who knows what they thought it was for. Could it really be for some sort of funds? A game with some sort of score. When an outlaw strolls into town, they don't always have a clear goal. But it's just done with a frown, because that's just the role. It must be someone he thought, not knowing the full consequences of getting what he'd sought. Like no one understood their causes. He walked in that innocent place and let people know he was there and would do something no one could erase and nothing would be left to repair. As he took aim, it was all thump and crack. The roaring machines overcame all, where soon there would be a plaque. He alone stood up tall. The passion inside began to crash, as there was no weapon showed down, but instead of a gun drawn in a flash, an old lady in the torn gown. Sirens welling and wounded, writhing, the ceiling above him cracking, prayers for those relying on tithing, the real reason for it lacking. He was all out at this point, nothing to do but surrender to the ones that so disappoint, who gladly took in the offender. And then we'll stand in front of a mic and tell people their accomplishments and try to explain the boy's psych. While they follow with their accompaniments, they like to one shrug their shoulders. There's nothing we can do. Maybe we can just blame the holders, while the callers can only stand and coo. Everything happens for a reason, it's what we'd like to say. So maybe his problem was treason, or he had something to repay. Perhaps he got radicalized, or spent too much time online, or had been over advertised, or with his mother didn't align. I don't have all the answers, but to get rid of the toy that perpetuates these cancers, I wonder who will be the next cowboy.